there's a good reason you were drawn to the idea of lucid dreaming. And in my opinion, it's to do with escapism and you kind of wanted something exciting, interesting and different to your current reality. That's why most people are drawn to lucid dreaming. Then you have the other side of people who are more practical and maybe you just heard about it as like a way to study more or increase your skills in something, I don't know. What was the reason actually you came to lucid dreaming? Let me know in the comments uh, right now and I'll try and like reply to as many as I can. But what you probably did is, if you're like me at least, is you came into it first either by accident or as a way of like escapism or just like a virtual reality thing. A lot of video gamers come into lucid dreaming because they're looking for that escapism, they want some kind of other experience and that's really common. And so what a lot of video gamers find is that they play these video games, they want to just experience something else, you know, a different reality, a different way of experiencing life and doing things. And that's what gets them interested in lucid dreaming because they realize they can actually do pretty much anything within the dream. Or I guess you have the third group of people who usually it's like through a film or through some kind of media, they get hyped up on the idea of lucid dreaming. Maybe they watch Inception, for example, or some kind of, interesting, hypey movie that gets them into the idea of lucid dreaming. And then through that, they decide to learn more. You know, they research things, they watch videos like this, they read how to do it. That's probably the third group of people, uh, which is probably just as common, okay? But most people fall into one of those three categories. So you want escapism, you want something practical, like a personal growth tool that you can use to improve yourself, or you just heard about it and wanted to try it out. Now, no matter what reason you came into lucid dreaming, the chances are, and this is just going off, you know, statistics and, and data we can access, uh, and that I've been able to access through like surveys and analytics and things, the chances are more than half of you either have never had a lucid dream or you're really struggling and maybe you've had one or two, but you don't know how to do it regularly. So I actually put together a huge YouTube video specifically for you guys about lucid dreaming that tells you, it's about 26 minutes long, I think, um, and it goes into detail on everything you would need to learn. It's like a crash course. It's completely free. Uh, you can watch it. You just need to click the link in the description or maybe I'll, I'll pin the comment or something like that. And that will show you exactly how to lucid dream, even if you've never done it before. So if you are wanting to learn more about this, if you do want to learn how to do it regularly, because if you're one of those three groups of people, the chances are you you can see the benefit already. You don't need to be sold on the idea of lucid dreaming. You know you want to do it. It's just a question of how you can actually do it. And there's a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of hype out there. So I've tried to cut through the noise and just save you a lot of time. And I've focused on the most likely things to get you to lucid dream. The most statistically likely things that you can do to stack the odds in your favor so that you, you know, it's you might call it the low hanging fruit. The things you can just instantly do that will give you the biggest chance of success with lucid dreaming. Uh, and I've put it all into this one 26 minute video. It's on YouTube right now. Uh, all you need to do is just click the link in the description and go and check it out.